In this video for positive bots, we're going to learn about the universal set. So let's look at an example. We have the set A, it's cars in a car park that are green. The set B, cars in a car park that are more than 10 years old. And set C, cars in a car park that are worth less than 2,000 euro. So let's consider the three sets above. We can describe these sets as being part of a bigger set. All of these sets are part of the set of cars in the car park. We call this the universal set, and we denote it with the capital letter U. We must make sure that we don't confuse this with the symbol for the universal set. Okay, so now we're going to describe the universal set for the following examples. We have the set A, the set of students who play basketball in the school. B, the set of students who play tennis in the school. So our universal set. This is going to be the set of all students in the school. Our next example, we have C, the set of people in the office who drive to work, D, the people in the office who walk to work, and E, the people in the office who cycle to work. So the universal set, this is going to be all of the people that work in the office. When drawing Venn diagrams, we use a box to represent the universal set. So let's look at an example. We have A is a set 2, 4, 6, 7 and 9. B is a set 2, 3, 4, 5. U is a set 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So if we represent this on the Venn diagram, we have 6, 7 and 9 are just in A. 2 and 4 are in the intersection, and 3 and 5 are just in B. We'll notice that there are some elements that are in the universal set that are not on the diagram. They're not included in A or B. So we have to include a box, another circle for the universal set. And then in this box we're going to put in the elements that are in the universal set, but that are not contained in A or B. The elements 1, 8 and 10. So, really when we're doing these problems, we should start by putting in the numbers that are in the intersection. So that's 2 and 4 in this case. Then we should put in the elements that are just in A and just in B. And then we put in the elements that are in the universal set, but not in A or B. So let's look at another activity to further develop our understanding of this concept. Okay, so first thing we have to do is list the elements in A. So they are A, F, B, J, C, D and E. Now we need to list the elements in B. So that's D, E, L, K, X and Y. Now we're going to list the elements in the universal set U. So they will include N, M, I, H, G, A, F, B, C, D, E, L, K, X and Y. Now we're asked for the cardinal number of U. So this is the number of elements in that set. So the cardinal number of u is going to be equal to 16. The cardinal number of a is equal to 7. And the cardinal number of b is equal to 6. For more information, visit www.positivemaths.ie, email us at info.positivemaths.ie, and find us on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for watching.